Relief for parents. The DeKalb School District police think they know who fired the pellet gun at a bunch of children playing on the playground at Winbrook Elementary, injuring 10 of those children. They served a search warrant at the suspect's home today, and they say they may have found that pellet gun. Joe Hankey's in the newsroom with reaction from parents tonight. Joe? Well, Cheryl, I talked with several parents this afternoon, and they told me they kept their children home from school today as the DeKalb County School District now investigates. And here's a look at Winbrook Elementary from Google Maps, an aerial view. We were told the kids yesterday were outside playing. This is the playground right here. Now, this is a difficulty police faced yesterday afternoon. The district believes those pellet shots came from off the property of the school. You can see the playground, then we're off property here. There's a thick tree line, and then right behind that, several neighborhoods. As parents picked up their children today at Winbrook Elementary, DeKalb County Schools announced district police have identified a suspect, searched their home, and recovered a pellet gun. That's actually amazing. That makes me feel better because that was the main thing I was thinking about. Like, hopefully that they would find him and or her or whoever it was and catch them. So that, that gives me security now because I was very nervous about dropping them off this morning. Several parents tell 11 Alive, though, they did not feel safe bringing their children to school. Tesla McCray kept her four children at home. She says her seven-year-old daughter was one of the 10 injured. She was confused. She was, you know, kind of shocked and shut down. So I kind of we played with her a little bit, try to, you know, make it easy on her. The Cap County school official said 10 students were injured by a pellet gun while playing on a playground, but were in good condition. Several parents, though, say they did not quickly receive notifications from the school. I would just more so want to be notified a little bit sooner. A lot of parents were notified because of the news and Facebook and social media, and we kind of didn't get a letter until about two hours later. When asked about any delays, the district sent 11 Alive the following today. The district apologizes to any and all parents who feel that they were not adequately informed in a timely manner. The first order of business during an event like this is to ensure the safety of our students and staff. Once that goal is met, the next step is to make sure accurate, complete information is relayed to parents and guardians. According to the district text and robocall messages were sent at 2.15 p.m. Thursday. A letter was sent home at dismissal and parents of injured students were called at 12.30. told me that I need to come up to the school, that she had got hurt on the playground, and when I got up here, they told me, you know, what had happened. Yes, I am comfortable with how they handled the situation. They handled it very quickly and in order. And according to the DeKalb County School District, this remains an ongoing investigation, and they had three police officers at the school today. DeKalb schools are uh, police, school police, excuse me, are handling the investigation. I asked the school district if an arrest has been made, but I'm told that the only comment they have at this time is their statement announcing a suspect has been identified. Their name at this time has not been released. Jeff. Joe, thank you.